Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So USB and the SD card getting corrupted or losing data from it is a very common problem for all the PC and the laptop users. So if you ever had this problem or have right now, then try this tool that will be helping you to recover the deleted data up to 2 GB for absolutely free. And in case if you have more data than 2 GB and that's really precious for you, then you have to go with the paid plan. So we are talking about the Ezus free data recovery software who is our sponsor today and we will be reviewing this software and test whether it works perfectly or not. Okay, so you will be getting the link in the description. You will have to come to their website. And if you want to read more about it, restore deleted file from the recycle bin, hard drive, SSD, USB or SD card, recover deleted document, picture, videos, email and other file for free, retrieve lost data due to formatting, deleting, OS crash, virus infection, etc. And you can also repair the corrupted photos, videos and document with the file repair features. And these all are the very common requirement for all the PC users because they frequently have these kind of problem. Okay, so once you come up here, you have to click on the free download and it's a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file, click on yes, click on install now and the installation will be completed. Now, meanwhile, it's installing. Uh, let me show you here. On my end, I have a USB drive here that is of SanDisk and I have some data here that I will be showing you that how exactly it works by deleting them from here. Okay, so I have one video file here, two PDF, I guess, one image and one Excel file. All right, so what I can do, I can just select them all, then press shift and delete key from my keyboard so that I can permanently delete it. And it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete these five items? So yes, I want to delete them. So I will click on yes here. And before deleting, you can have a view here. These are the files that I'm going to delete. Then click on yes. Bingo. So now you can see the files has been deleted. And you know that this file doesn't go to the recycle bin. And even we have deleted permanently. So in fact, it will not go there. All right. Now, this can be the same scenario with you. You have deleted uh, your data from any kind of SD card, from any hard drive or any SSD. Or even if you have formatted or your drive has been crashed. Now next what you have to do, once the software of the Ethers comes up, you will be getting this kind of dashboard here. And you can look here according to the category wise like the SD card, NAS and the Linux, BitLocker drive, the cloud drive and the crashed PC. So if anything happened like a boot failure, blue screen or black screen of dead or the repair loop, then you can follow these steps to recover your data. All right, so today I'm going to show you about the USB drive. So you need to follow the same steps. Apart of that, you get many other options like you can directly recover the data from the recycle bin or through the desktop or by selecting any particular folder. Now I have deleted the data from the SanDisk here, so I will select it and click on search for lost data. And you can see the advanced scanning is being started and it says files found. So you have to wait here until the scanning is being completed. So meanwhile, it is scanning all the file. Now what you can do on the left hand side, you will find all the categories like pictures, videos, document, audios, email, bookmark. Now what you have to do, you need to look for your own category, like what kind of data you want to recover. Like on my end, I will go with pictures here. And in the picture, you will find different kind of extensions. It will let you know that you had a PNG file or you can search according to the JPG. So what I can do, I can uh, click on the JPG here and I will find all my files over here that were on my USB drive. The one thing that you will notice here that it recovered all the data that I had before, maybe two days back or 10 days back, everything has been recovered here. So that's really excellent. Now what you have to do, you need to choose your data, your picture that you want to recover. So this was my first picture that I had. This is what I want to recover. Then I had another file here, another JPG file that I want to recover. So I will select them all. And then I can click on recover and the recovery will be started. Now part of that, what else you can do? You can also come to the PNG section, look for your file here. And if you have any PNG file here that you want to recover, then you can select that also from here and so on. You can look for any GIF here. SVG or the WMF extension. 
look for the file that you want to recover and then we can come to the video section in the videos also you get the categories mp4 or web m so i will go with the mp4 here i will double click on it now i need to look for the video that i want to recover so this was the one that i deleted if you remember so i will select it then i can come to the documents here again if i have any pdf so i can double click on it and this was the pdf here that i deleted how the brain work so again i will select it and then i can come to excel sx file here so i also had excel file if you remember and this was the one by the name video reset password so i will select it so now i have all the six files that i deleted and it's around 304 mb and i don't have to go with a paid plan here because up to two gigabyte i can recover for absolutely free so now i have to click on recover now it will ask me the destination where you want to save the file so i can go with the local disk c i will save into another drive here click on save and the data will be start recovering here and it won't take much time and exactly depend that how much data you are going to retrieve okay so seems to be working fast three four five and six bingo all the files are being recovered here now i can click on view recovered then i can click on sandisk and this was the main location from where i deleted my data so i will double click on this folder here and boom guys now you can see that i got all my data that i deleted you can match it from the beginning and even if i play the video so you can see it's working absolutely fine i can also bring up the another data here that was my pdf and bingo working absolutely perfect so this is how this tool work guys and it work absolutely fine and that is the reason i created a video on this particular topic so that if you really want to recover your data or you want to repair your drive then you can easily do that using this software and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed the video found this information useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye